Hey guys, what's going on and welcome to my home studio. Uh, a lot of you ask me uh, all the time stuff about my guitars. Uh, as you can see, I have uh, quite a lot of them. And uh, yeah, you were wondering if I could do a guitar tour. So here we are today. I don't want to do it in any specific order. So let's just start uh, right over here with the first one. And I'm gonna tell you something about every guitar. So this one is actually an Alexi model from ESP um, that I totally customized. It was the first guitar that I really customized uh, myself. Uh, it was yeah, basically uh, my live guitar for my band back then. Um, I bought it really cheap on eBay. It was a white guitar and then I stripped everything apart and spray painted everything. I used uh, red paint for uh, for the bass so that whenever there's any scratches that it looks kind of cool still. So uh, yeah, nothing wild with this. I've got an EMG pickup here with an 18 volt mod back there so yeah pretty pretty decent guitar um, I don't use it that much anymore because it's also very heavy and the case is insanely big then we have the next one it's similar shape so this is a Randy Rhodes model uh, which I also modified a little bit and I got it really really cheap as well I think it's uh, way over a thousand bucks usually but um, it had a broken headstock so I got it for like 200 bucks or something like that. Just glued the headstock and it's ready to go. Uh, the pickups are amazing, so I didn't change anything about that. I did the 18 volt mod in there too, because I liked it very much in the, in the other guitar. And I got like a kill switch here uh, for some cool minor effects. Okay, next up uh, we have here my Harley Benton bass, the TB70. Um, yeah, I don't need to say much about this one, I think. I also modded a little bit, like the fretboard and the pickguard, uh, as you can see. Um, but uh, yeah, it sounds great as it is, and therefore I didn't do much about that either. Uh, it's quite heavy, but uh, yeah, it plays fantastic, so uh, that's great. Yeah, I'm starting to run out of space to put it, so therefore I have it on the stand here, which I can move around. So I definitely need to think of some sort of solution for that in the future. Next up, we have my Ibanez Iceman. It's the IC300. Uh, this is, I think, the oldest or the guitar that I have the longest. Um, but just recently, I think four years ago or something, I did this new paint job. Uh, it was quite time consuming, but uh, yeah, I wanted to have like a, another camo look, but not like this one more like a digital camo um, so yeah that took me took me quite a while to get there and then of course the fretboard and yeah I, I like the the sound a lot of the guitar so I didn't change the pickups actually so these are still the stock pickups okay moving on to my PRS guitars so I guess everyone has seen this one uh, I used it in the Dunkelheit video uh, this is my original USA made uh, Paul Reed Smith CE24. It's an amazing tool. Uh, it sounds fantastic. It's, it has so many options, like with this five way wheel selector. Um, yeah, it's an amazing guitar and it looks beautiful. I don't play it that much in uh, videos lately. I don't know because I think maybe I have some better looking metal guitars now but it's a fantastic tool and uh, yeah basically I pick it up at least once a day and uh, yeah these guitars as you might know are quite expensive and also this one I got a really cheap deal on eBay as well. Next one another PRS and PRS SE uh, this is the Custom24 uh, Floyd Stealth uh, so the paint job is uh, quite different from other PRS guitars uh, looks kind of nice and the Floyd Rose is an actual original Floyd Rose as well so it works perfectly. I didn't change the pickups so these are still the stock pickups uh, in here. Uh, I just put a cap over there uh, and this is basically for the last few years my main uh, live guitar um, and it's really reliable. I have no problems had with it so far and yeah just a fantastic tool as well. Over here we have another PRS SE. Uh, this is the oldest uh, PRS model that I have. 
Um, I bought it way back, I think in 2009 or something. I don't remember. I think it was uh, when PRS started the SE line. Um, yeah, I changed out the pickups, so these are EMG pickups. Actually, the wiring is going only to the bridge pickup, which is the EMG X81, uh, uh, also with the 18 volt mod, um, because yeah, I never used uh, the neck pickup live. Um, so yeah, I don't know. This is just just a replacement to not have a hole in the guitar. Uh, mainly nowadays, I use it as a backup guitar live um, when I when I play the other PRS. Um, but yeah, it sounds fantastic, and also in the studio, sounds absolutely great. What I also did on these two PRS uh, guitars is I took some really great glow-in-the-dark paint and uh, marked the fret markers here again. So uh, also on very dark stages, you can actually see where you're playing. Okay, last one of the electric PRS guitars is this beautiful uh, SE277. Uh, it's a baritone guitar, semi-hollow. I really like semi-hollow guitars, although I don't have many of them. Uh, with P90 pickups, so very untypical for metal, but it sounds so amazing. Uh, you probably heard it on the Patushka video, for example. Um, and yeah, it's an amazing tool and this one also I got really cheap on eBay because it has a, a minor dent on the headstock uh, so nothing that impacts the sound or the playability or something like that but yeah, I don't know, people are kind of weird as soon as there are some scratches the value goes down so yeah, anyone who's looking for great guitars or great instruments uh, just as uh, tools that work go check for dented and scratched guitars. So this one is my Ibanez S520EX. This is super light, as you can see the body is very thin, uh, which is really great. I was looking for a super light guitar for live, uh, way before I was playing the ESP uh, live on stage. And yeah, I also modified this one as well. I've got the Seymour Duncan uh, Dimebucker and the Seymour Duncan um, invader in the neck here. A uh, really weird combination but works absolutely amazing um, and I did it with uh, two volume knobs and this the three-way switch. Uh, what amazes me the most of this guitar is this Ibanez, I think it's the Zero Resistance Tremolo or something like that it's called. Um, it's way better than a Floyd Rose in my opinion. Um, so yeah, it's a shame that it's only on Ibanez guitars and I think they also don't make them anymore. Um, so yeah, great guitar and I think that you can find these really cheap also because they don't make them anymore, at least this model. So if you find one on eBay, don't hesitate. All right, so moving on, I think uh, for these two guitars, I don't need to say much. You saw it in the video or if not, I'm gonna link it over here. So this is the Harley Benton SC Custom uh, Plus EMG FR and the Harley Benton SC1000 in white. Absolutely amazing guitars. I'm still very much in love with them and I'm playing them also. I'm picking up them every day at least once, I think. Okay, next one is also an ESP guitar, uh, which I modified. Um, I think this was in a time I was just bored and wanted to do another custom uh, guitar. I mean, the shape is uh, really old already and uh, ever since I saw that the first time, back when I was, I don't know, 18, 16, 17, I don't know. Uh, I always wanted to have like an F-shaped uh, uh, ESP guitar. So this is a really cheap like LTD uh, F50, I think. Um, and yeah, I did a similar paint job like on the Iceman. Um, so this time only in red and I tried to do like a red uh, fretboard inlay. So yeah, this also has uh, EMG pickups in it and yeah, plays great, sounds great. Uh, unfortunately, a little bit heavy. You can see it's a very thick body, but yeah. Okay, the next one is also a guitar that I'm not really using much lately anymore. Uh, this is my seventh string. Uh, it's also a little longer scale length. Uh, I think it's 26 and a half inch. Um, I modified it as well. I put in a Seymour Duncan Black Winter and the Seymour Duncan Invader in the neck. Um, yeah, because of my experience with the Ibanez guitar and this weird pickup combination, 
Also two volume knobs, which are push-pull, so I can get eight sounds with it. I kind of got the inspiration of the PRS 408, uh, where you can get eight different sounds with two humbuckers. So try to do it here. It sounds great, you can, especially for clean sounds, um, so yeah, it works fantastic and uh, yeah, I unfortunately don't play that much 7-string stuff, uh, so it rarely gets any usage. Okay, over here we have another PRS, so my one and only uh, acoustic guitar. It's a PRS SE A10E, I think is the model called. Um, it's an Angelus uh, SE line, so uh, yeah, it sounds fantastic. It has actual electronic pickups in it uh, where you can plug in through the through the guitar strap button um, yeah sounds fantastic plays great uh, just as any other PRS guitar I think okay let's skip this one and go straight to the white Ibanez 5 string um, it yeah it's white uh, and many people uh, say bad stuff about the color um, I like the color it's like a pearl white or something like that uh, and I also did the fretboard stuff. N nothing else I customized here. Uh, electronics are just as they were on the first day. It plays fantastic. It's uh, quite dirty because I think we used it uh, way back a few years ago live uh, when our bass player forgot his bass or something was broken but he didn't want to play uh, a white bass on stage so we took black duct tape and taped it all the way around the body. So still there's a little residue here. Uh, but yeah, it plays really amazing and whenever I need a, a five string bass to play, um, yeah, I only have this one, um, but yeah, this is a great bass. Uh, same thing with this model, this is the exact same model, just as a four string, are not exactly the same, the electronics are a little bit different with the switch here and yeah, but still sounds amazing too. I rarely use this one. I've used it in a few videos. I think the Gorgoroth video was the last one where I used this one. So yeah, maybe maybe I should retire this because uh, yeah, it sounds great, but whenever I go for a four string, I now go to the Harley Benton uh, TB70. All right, so these were all my guitars. I tried to keep the video a little shorter this time. Uh, if I left anything out, ask me a question down below and I see you in the next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.